All righty, everyone. Welcome to class. So today is Tuesday, the 13th. Um, I feel like we got to like get pumped up after that relaxing music. So um, just a reminder, if you guys are at home and have your xylophone, I have a link here on our Canvas page that takes you to some songs that you can play. Um, and if you have some free time at class, maybe you want to play it then as well. Uh, let's see. Um, there is also some fun things added to the October classroom. So if you click around, you never know, you know, what you might, fun things you might click on and it take you to. Writing's not that. So I'm not going to give it all away. So if you, you know, want to click around, there's some cool things on there. Hidden gems. So let's see what we're doing today. So I hope everyone enjoyed their free day yesterday. It was teacher work day. Me and Miss Bryson were here working, but you guys got to have a fun day off. So like always, we're starting with our live reading Zoom um, for Unique Learning. Today we are reading chapter three and there's a standard connection assignment. If you can complete that, you are welcome to do that. And then moving on to PCI one. Um, if you're in that group, you're learning the word have and reading, you guys are starting a new book, which is I help with the work. So that's exciting. And then group two, PCI two, you guys are learning the word fun and read um, and starting a new book called The Sleep Out. So excited to see what that is all about. And then for our third group, ECS, you guys are doing an intro to a poem you guys are reading called When You Turn Out the Light. Um, and so that'll be more of a short passage we're going to get through that um, this week so the next few days you guys will be reading when you turn out the light group one for news to you um, we are starting a new article this week called COVID-19 vaccine like we haven't heard enough about COVID-19 we're going to read some more about it of vaccine today um, so group one, you guys are doing a game page and group two, you guys are doing some review questions. Then at 1020, Ms. Bryson is going live with her math Zoom and for unique learning today, we're, um, this week we're going to be still focusing on addition, but working on, you know, carrying over. So those multiple digit addition problems where you have to do some carrying. So a little more advanced there. Um, and then, like always, you have your Explore Math assignment. Today on our YouTube channel, we have a video from me, a social video um, it, from our Focus on Feelings book. And we started a new chapter called My Camping Trip. So be excited to see what, it, it's not Lee anymore. I think his name's Jay. can't remember off the top of my head. But very exciting video there. And then, like always, complete your daily exit ticket at the end of the day. Does anyone have any questions before we get started with Unique? All right, let's jump right into it. And now that I think about it, I did not pull it up yet. So today we are reading chapter three called Changing Speed and Direction. So um, if you remember last week, we talked about pushing and pulling. They were playing tug of war. And then um, today they're doing the bike race, changing speed and direction. Um, so I do want to talk about this vocabulary word right here, direction. Trying something new, a little interactive notebook. Um, this is going to be posted on our Canvas page. I'm going to put it um, in the weekly links there. And so um, you can have this to refer back to if you want to. So let's talk about the word direction. Direction means the way something is facing, going, or pointing. So, you know, if someone said, gives you maybe directions, they're going to tell you which way to go. You know, how do I get to Aiden Griffin High School. They're going to say, turn right and drive down Highway 11. They're going to tell you which way you're going, facing, or pointing. 
So who knows what kind of word this is? Is it a noun, a person, place, a thing, or an action word, or a describing word? Who can tell me? Direction. So that's a good point. The, I, I love like these questions because I'm like direction it is you that is describing but it would be a noun. <laughs> Let's look it up guys. I'm so terrible. Direction. Define. Let's see what the next definition is. Oh lord a noun. Um, I cannot even speak this morning. So it's a noun because it's telling you which way to go, but when you are actually doing the direction, it could be a verb and you are describing. I'm doing a terrible job explaining this this morning, guys. It is a Tuesday. Bear with me. All we need to know is the direction is a noun. <laughs> oh, goodness. So I'm going to put a little right here. I want it to be underlined. Bear with me guys, we're doing something new today. Let's 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 roll with it. We're not always perfect. I'm definitely not perfect. All right. Who can use the word direction in a sentence? Anyone? Today's word is direction. I want to go to this direction. Oh, I like that. So, um, one friend said, I want to go this direction. That's very good. And then I had another friend say, um, today's word is direction. I'm going to go with the first one. I want to go this so like maybe you're walking down the road with your friend and you, you know, you get to a stop. Say, I want to go this direction. Mm. Very good. All right. Let's move on with this. I'm, I'm, I'm over the, the direction. Okay, okay, here we go. Let's read our chapter. Chapter three, changing speed and direction. The masters of motion run to the starting line for the bike race. Each team will pick one person to ride in the bike race. Who will ride in the race? The team chooses Aaron to ride in the race. He will use what he knows about motion during the race. So this event, the second event in the Fall Motion Festival is the bike race. And the team has chose Aaron to ride in the race. It is time for the race to start. Aaron pushes his bike to the starting line. He stops at the line and holds still. No one is moving. The countdown begins. Five, four, three, two, one, go. So they're all at the starting line waiting for that countdown to get moving. They're all holding very still. You can see his foot is on the ground keeping his bike still. Aaron pushes the pedal down with his foot. The push of Aaron's foot is a force. The bike moves forward as he pushes the pedal. Aaron is going slow. He needs to go faster to win the race. Aaron needs to speed up. He pushes the pedals harder. The bike moves fast. So if any of you guys have ever ridden a bike, to make it go forward, you have to push those pedals, like we were talking about last week pushing and pulling, you got to push those pedals down. And the faster you push them, the faster that bike is going to go. Aaron can see a turn in the path ahead. His bike is going straight. The bike will keep going straight until a force makes a change direction. Aaron can use his hands on the handlebars to turn the bike. Aaron pushes the handlebars to the right. The bike turns right. So how does Aaron change directions with the bike? What does he have to do? Mm 
talked about it on this page. How does he make the bike turn right? How does he make the bike turn? Anyone? Thank you, you turn the handlebars. So if he wants the bike to turn right, he's gonna push that handlebar to the right. The turn is over. He must change direction again. Aaron pulls the handlebars back to the middle and moves straight ahead. Aaron is at the bottom of a hill. He starts up the hill. The bike slows down. He pushes the pedals harder to keep the bike moving. So when he starts going up that hill, he's got to push even harder to keep his feet up. Um, and then he, say that again. Mm -hmm. Yep, he had to push on those foot pedals. Very good to make that bike go harder, make it go faster. At the top of the hill, Aaron starts moving downhill. The bike goes fast. Gravity helps pull him fast down the hill. Gravity is a force. Gravity makes the bike move faster. The bike keeps gaining speed. This is called acceleration. How can he slow down? Aaron quits pedaling and pulls on the brake to slow the bike down. So this is also something we talked about last week, that gravity. You know, when you drop a ball, it's going to fall to the ground. So when he's moving down that mountain or down the hill, gravity is just going to make him go faster. So he has to pull that brake to slow him down. Aaron gets to the bottom of the hill. The bike slows down because of friction. Friction is when two objects move against each other. Friction is a force. Friction makes objects slow down. The friction between the tire and the ground slows the bike down. Aaron pedals faster to pass the other riders. So he's gonna start pedaling faster to pass those other riders. Aaron is close to the finish line. He only has a few more feet to go. He finishes the race in 10 minutes. Aaron came in second place. He pulls on the brake to stop the bike. Aaron used what he knew about motion in the bike race. He made a greater force to make the bike go faster and change direction. Next up, the team will compete in a beanbag toss. All right, so Aaron finished the race and did he win the race? Did he come in first? Second or third place? All right. All right. Second place. Mm -hmm. You see, it says Aaron came in second place, and you can see his um, his medal here has a two on it. So he came in second place, and that's okay. Even though he didn't win, he still tried his best. He used what he knew about force to help him do the best he could in the race. And so he came in second place. And next up, the team will compete in a bean bag toss. So that is it for today. Um, you guys can go on to Unique Learning, um, read the book, and then do the standard connection if you can, um, and then move on to your PCI or ECS groups. And some of us are going to go do Charger Breeze for the first time. So wish us luck. See you guys soon.